How's it going, Poké fans? Poké fan brand coming to you with a little bit of an extra video. Now, short version of the story. Obviously, we all know what these are. I had three. Basically, I ordered these collector's chests in order to get those. This is the sleeve that was on it. Darkness of Blaze, Darkness of Blaze, Cosmic, Crimson Invasion, Sun and Moon Base. Those weren't the packs that were in it. We'll get to that quickly. If you don't know what comes in these things, just run through it. Quick two seconds. Little mini portfolio. Some stickers. Notepad. Coin promos. That's that. Now, all the ongoing giveaways, things like that, things that are coming up, it's all in the description. Get these out of the way so basically like i said those there are supposed to have darkness ablaze cosmic eclipse sun and moon base so each one came with two vivid and three rebel clash now i don't really care because the reason i bought them was to get those uh van gogh pikachus i was going to put these in an opening which is what i'm going to do but those are not the most interesting sets. So what we're going to do... We'll still open those, because there's not really anything to do with those packs. But we're going to throw two darkness into each one. We're going to throw a sun and moon base in each one. And we're going to throw a cosmic in each one. Nice 18 packs. A little bit of interest, interesting stuff at the end. Should make it a little uh, interesting opening. I don't think that there's going to be much coming out of those. So hopefully these can save the day. So let's get this organized into basically least favorite or least interesting to most interesting. Obviously I'm going to save the sun and moon for the end, but let's get this organized and let's see what we can pull from these 18 packs. All right, let's get into it. I'm going to kind of speed through those. I don't like those numbers. Give me a second. I like hidden fates. Let's do finish it off with a couple hidden fates as well. So like I said, we're going to speed through the first ones because no one really cares too much about Rebel Trash. Yeah. If we get something, I'll be surprised. I'll be happy. Something's there. Got a V. Okay. Code Kurt. Yep. Yeah. I'll slow down a little. With Vivid and stuff like that, because there's the Rainbow Chew and Darkness of Blaze has the Charizard. V. Okay. Rebel Trash Pack 3. Nothing. That's 3 or is that 4? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Go quickly through this. We're getting pulls, which is surprising. No trainer gallery or any type of subset in Rebel Clash. So. I opened a pack art set. I don't remember what day that would have went up. It's in the shorts. It's one of the, one of the mornings. Literally got nothing. So. Not the worst performance from Rebel Clash. Let's make it a little competition. So Rebel Clash, three hits. Onto Vivid. For 750 subs, I am gonna be doing a very large Vivid Voltage opening. I want the Rainbow Chew. So we're gonna open 40 packs of Vivid Voltage, a booster box of Volt Tackle in Japanese and a booster box of Volt Tackle in Korean, make it 100 packs. Gonna give away a three pack blister of Vivid Voltage. And if we pulled the Rainbow Chew in any of the three languages, give away a second three pack blister. So. Code card. I'm not going to do any pack tricks. If we get something, we get something. Something in the center there. We actually got a full art. Wow. Okay. Give me a second. Sir Fetch deserves a sleeve. Okay. 
Okay. Here I am talking trash about these sets and we're actually getting pulls from the... Okay. One more pack of Vivid. Vivid Voltage actually has been one of my luckier sets. Surprisingly. Like, of the last 30 packs I've opened, I'm going to say like 25 of them have been Black Border Code cards. There's a batch of sleeved ones I had. Let's go Charizard. Come on. Already pulled it twice. One came back 10. Can we pull it a third time? It's not the most interesting sets, but at least we're actually getting... We were getting some hits. Full art sent to Scorch. Okay. Very surprised. To the well, what I thought was going to be the better part. That first half was actually pretty good. Sun Moon Base. I believe there's it's an Espeon and Umbreon Rainbow. Water Energy, Wishy Washy, Raticate, Dart Trick, Snubble, Makahita, Kitty Fly, Drowsy Rowlet, Fero, Masquerade. Nope. Second pack, Sun and Moon Base. Put that there in case there is a pull. Got the right code card for it. Lightning Energy, Pukuku Muku, Double Colorless, Grand Bull, Cutie Fly, Drowsy, Rowlet, Grimer, Spiro, Golbat, Hollow Crocodile. Okay. Onto Cosmic Eclipse. Come on. Something. Let's go. Nope. <laughs> Straight through it. Yeah. Nothing there. Actually, you know what? I want that energy. Second pack, Cosmic Eclipse. I'm not going to waste your time. Wrong code. Oh. Okay. Never mind. I was going to say, not going to waste your time. No pull, but. Not a trainer gallery, but whatever this thing is. Hidden Fates. One of my favorite, literally favorite sets. Fetched, Chansey, Cubone, Geodude, Jigglypuff, Staryu, Ekans, Vaporeon, Vaporeon again. Second pack, Hidden Fates. Water Energy, Metapod, Jinx, Magmar, Slowpoke, Magikarp, Pikachu, Voltorb, Coughing, Zapdos. Nope. One more. One more.
Grass Energy, Koga's Trap, Tenet Surge's Strategy, Magmar, Psyduck, Staryu, Clefairy, Slowpoke, Pikachu, Scyther, Come on. All right, let's quickly run through the pulls. Surprisingly, the sets that I didn't think were going to have the pulls had the pulls. So from Rebel Clash, three Vs, Phalanx, Pinkurchin, and Rillaboom. From Vivid Voltage, Full Art, Galarian, Surfetched, and Full Art Opal. From Darkness Ablaze, Full Art Santa Scorch. From Sun and Moon Base, Hollow Crocodile. From Cosmic Eclipse, Gallade Character. And from Hidden Fates, One Hollow. What's my favorite pull from today? That character is really nice, but honestly, just finished watching the Ultimate Journeys. Pokemon Ultimate Journeys finally came to Netflix in Canada. Binged it in like well, two days. I got work. I got a lot of respect for Sir Fetch now. So, I'm going with that as my favorite pull from today. What's yours? Let me know. One thing I will mention, the plan is to grade these. Uh, one for me and one for a future giveaway. So, keep an eye on the channel. That might come up. I don't know when I'm going to be doing my next submission. Got like four or five hundred cards prepped. And with all the new drops and buying so much stuff, I don't know when the next submission is going to be. But keep an eye out. So with that, I want to say thank you for watching today. Please consider liking and subscribing if you do want to see more. Post once or twice a day here. Shorts in the morning, long form in the evening. Three to seven days a week, depending on if there's new stuff dropped. Tomorrow's video is Pokeball Pack 3. And Tuesday, I will check in on last Tuesday's Shiny Treasure EX video. I know I'm not the, a big channel, and Shiny Treasure X is expensive. Initial plan was to open five boxes, one a day, for a week. But we're going to see how that video performed. And if it performed well enough, performed okay, then we'll open four more boxes, five more boxes of Shiny Treasure EX, because I do still have 18 boxes next to me here. Oh, I ordered a full case. So, thanks again. I hope to see you again soon.